So gentlemen. We have two limited banner, and a new standard banner as well. With these three banner, Izuna's swimsuit is the only worthy to get and build. And the other two is an optional. With that said though, S Chisegs is probably have better utility than S Memori. So take S Izuna and then take S Chisegs. S Memori isn't worth to take. With that said though, we need to look at where is exactly you need them. Let's start with a new student, Memori Swimsuit. Appear as special support with ability to deploy barrier, within the selected area you want to deploy them. Similar like Shizuko, except she is not Shizuko. Anyway, this barrier, or cover if you prefer easy to understand, will have its HP based the deployer. The cover then will buff students that are near to it with attack speed buff for 20 seconds. So, just like Shizuko, but the cover buff attack speed buff, at least it useful than accuracy buff. Basic skill she provides shield into one student with the lowest HP. 50 seconds is really long time and the duration is 35 seconds, which is 15 seconds of cooldown. The shield are dependable on her healing stats. At least, the shield she provide from her basic skill is actually can be a life safer but not most of the time. Enhanced skill increase max HP, since her cover are based on her HP, this could make the cover even better durability. Sub skill increase attack speed, it's fine buff that's all I could say. So in the end, she isn't that interesting to get. Like why you should have her when you already have this. I'm sure you already have Shizuko, and the best part is that she already 5 stars with exclusive weapon level 30 or more. Now if you want to switch into Memori because she buffed better than Shizuko, you could do that without increasing skill level or stars. Because S Memori has greater cover durability than Shizuko. Although Shizuko is easy to obtain and most of you already built her since Insane first released, you could move on from Shizuko and use S Memori instead without increasing her stars but just her skill level and gear. For comparison, we can exactly see why S Memori is better than Shizuko is because the cover HP. As you can see S Memori cover is 90% than Shizuko that is only 50%. So the cover inherit 90% of S Memori's HP, and that is 45,000 of cover durability on 3 stars, 54,000 on 5 stars, while Shizuko only less than 25,000 of over durability, 30,000 on 5 stars. It's confusing math, but let's just assuming that S Memori has great cover durability with just low investment than Shizuko, is that all I can say? But where do you need her exactly is, as far as I know, try harder use her on Shiro Kiro, and I forgot completely where else. If you already spark and get her, I couldn't blame you for that. Since her live 2D she owned the whole bakery factory. Seems hard to skip. So the better version of Shizuko, even with just 3 stars. And now moving on into to limited rerun banner. Start with Sizuna. She is one of the best mystic limited students for long term, you should at least have her with enough build. Her X skill damage isn't that great and probably not reliable, but having ability to apply focused fire into one enemy with cheap X skill cost is reasonable. You see if you have fought Goz raid boss, some of you might realize how difficult it is when your student can't apply focused fire into the real Goz. By having SI Zuna could solve that problem. Even if you already have other students with the same ability, like Sakurako or Noah, you still need Desai Zuna. Another reason is, she is also great as side damage dealer. You see, Esai Zuna being a damage dealer is not because her ex skill able to deal big damage like anyone else. So, you can leave her ex skill on level 1. But it's her basic skill. Her basic skill is always activated depending how fast her attack is, and this is the only her main damage source. So, it is really easy to use her. You just need to put her on mystic formation team and forget anything else. You don't need to apply buff on her, she is already that great without a single buff. Which is, you can focus the buff juices into another student instead. In short, she is the best mystic auto attacker for zero brain strat. But where do you need her? Mostly Goz and Shiro Kiro. You could utilize her on any Grand Assault that needed Mystic students as long as she don't die on early start. So, getting SI Zuna is still worthy if you haven't obtained her. Anyway, you increase that basic skill into max since this is the only her damage source. Enhanced skill. She increase attack speed. You see, 
since her basic skill is dependable on how fast her attack, this enhanced skill could make her basic skill become spammable. So increase it into level 7, or max it even better. Sub skill, also attack speed and worth to increase this skill level into 7, or max it even better. This could make Puka Puka no Jutsu become faster. So that's it, great mystic side dealer you could get. And then we have S cheese eggs. We utilize her X skill as CC bar filler just like we use Kayoko. The difference between these two CCs are slightly. The damage she dealt from her X skill is not reliable even with full build. So she is there on any content where you need the CC she applied from her X and basic skill. Again slightly better than Kayoko, but that doesn't mean replace Kayoko entirely. You could still use Kayoko if you are looking for S cheese eggs alternative. Back then, S cheese eggs is unusable, because she can't even fill the CC bar on Hod Pillar Tower. But now since her unique gear is released, on tier 1 she increased the CC strength. That CC strength does improve the CC bar filler, and is really needed on Hod Insane and as well against Wakamo Hovercraft on phase 1. So, she is usable for now and forth, you could skip her, and embrace the old CC filler, Kayoko for example, but at least have 2 CC filler should be enough to prepare what's upcoming. Or is it? You could wait for another version of these 2 CC filler in the future. And that student is Kotama Camp. She is the CC filler that focused on one target rather than multiple, and has high duration than among those two, but required huge investment of course. Any way to build cheese eggs with cheaper you could do, is by increasing her X and basic skill into max level. You could ignore her enhanced and sub skill as these two would contribute a lot. For the gear avoid maxing the first gear, instead you could choose these two. And that build is only for CC filler roll for Hod and Wakamo Hovercraft phase 1. And for the star she is usable on 3 stars, only after you unlock her unique gear. If haven't however, she is useless. So gentlemen, that's it within these 3 banner. The best to pick is SI Zuna, while S Chiseg is an optional to get. If you get SI Zuna and somehow hit Spark, take S Chiseg as well. Having Mystic Student that can deal great damage without putting strat is rarely appear. While S Chiseg is slightly better version of Kayoko as CC filler after unique gear is released. Having two of them is fine, especially try harder. You could skip 4 S Chiseg but could be a reconsider that she is limited. Or you could wait for the other CC filler in the future, that is Kotama Camp. But hey why 2 CC filler when you can have 3? Your choice. S Memory Banner however, is just another Shizuko, but deluxe edition or premium even. So it is skip if you have Shizuko which everyone do have. If you have low pyroxene that is less than 24 k pyrox, or equal 200 pulls, or spark, I highly suggest you to not pulling on these banner, and avoid risk being crybaby for not getting SSR after 100 pulls. Despite these are limited banner, it just not worth it to do pulling, and better save your pull for Yuka Sport instead. So be careful what you doing here, and it's not what you thinking. Also one more thing, triple drop commission versus event. Which one is most rewarding credits? Obviously, the event is more rewarding, not only credits but also other growth material. So, don't be stressed out for missed the triple drop commission. Let's calculate how much you can get credits through the commission. Is this much, and multiple by 4 or equal 180 AP? Is a million credits. And how much credits you can get after upgrading base and exploring all tiles? is also million per 180 AP. So the event is win here in term of credits, artifact and growth material is a bonus. Just think about the event first and don't miss this out. And that should be all. As always, Godspeed.